for our exclusive Moto Walk Around episode 24, we will be having Rusi RFI So I will walk you through the differences from Gen 1 to Gen 4 of this all new RFI 175. But before we continue, make sure to like and subscribe to our channel. Kung maaalala ninyo, April 2020 nung inilabas ng ating channel ang official RFI 175 commercial. <laughs> We were also the first ones na nag-release ng official full specification infomercial ng motorsiklong ito. And on June 2020, opisyal nang na-release sa market ang unit na ito. Balikan muna natin ang specifications ng Rusi RFI-175. Sa length, width, and height, meron tayong 1,955 by 740 by 1,115 mm. Wheelbase ay 1,385 mm. 770 mm for the seat height. Minimum ground clearance of 135 millimeters. Curb weight is 130 kilograms. Protrusion angle of 26 degrees. Drag distance is 85 millimeters. At fuel tank capacity of 9.5 liters. On its lights, we have LED headlight assembly, LED front and rear left right position light, LED tail light and rear license light assembly. On its instrument, meron tayong LCD speedometer display. Sa tires, we have front tire size 110, 70, 13, front rim size of 3.0, 13, rear tire size of 130, 70, 13, and rear rim size 3.5, 13. Para naman sa brakes, we have combined braking system. Front brake disc of 240mm, rear brake disc of 215mm. Sa front suspension system, 33mm front fork. Sa rear suspension system, Double Rear Shock Absorber Going on to its engine, we have Cylinder Arrangement, 4-stroke, single cylinder, 2-valve 171.7 cc ang displacement 8.8 kW at 7,500 rpm ang maximum power Maximum net torque of 12.4 Nm at 5,500 rpm. Compression ratio is 9.8 is to 1. Bore at stroke ay 61.5 mm by 57.8 mm. 
Ang fuel supply ay EFI. Start system, electric start. Driving mode, belt. Clutch transmission case is CVT. Mula sa pinakaunang release ng RFI-175, marami nang idinagdag at binago sa mga sumunod na generations. Para sa Gen 2 ng RFI-175, maaari nyo itong mapanood sa link na nasa description. Changes pagdating sa fender, changes pagdating sa cover sa ilalim, changes pagdating sa footrest, at meron din tayong changes sa kulay ng side cover, which is naging gray na siya from... Mayroong pagbabago sa rear fender sa second gen. Ito naman ang mga changes at additions sa Gen 3. Stainless plate ng compartment at bagong design ng ignition switch, pati na rin ang open seat at fuel cover buttons. At sa Gen 4, mayroong pagbabago sa design ng tank cover, bagong brake master assembly at binago na rin ang brand ng combi brake system nito. With continuous support sa RUSI RFI-175 ay asahan pa nating marami pang generations ang maaaring i-release sa market with new and exciting additional features para sa RFI. Maliban sa RFI-175 port gen, bibigyan na rin namin kayo ng sneak peek sa soon to be released na Classic 250 with Fuel Injection System. And going back, ang RUSI RFI 4th Gen ay malapit na rin i-release sa mga RUSI branches near you. And if you have any questions with regard to RUSI RFI 175, you can comment down below. For more RUSI motorcycle updates, please do like, comment, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And don't forget to also like our Facebook page Mitch Moto Vlogs, which the link is in the description. We also invite you to join our Facebook group, Moto Enthusiast Group, which the link is also in the description below. And again, this is the episode 24 of exclusive Moto Walk Around series. Thank you.